I'm currently working on my 2025 hybrid desk setup. And one of the things that I need is a Thunderbolt 4 docking station. So after hours of scrolling on Amazon, that's when I learned something interesting. Amazon Basics has a Thunderbolt dock. There's no way this is good. But when I saw its price, let's just say I couldn't resist. So let's check this thing out. In the box, we get the main docking station, the 135 watt power supply, and finally a roughly two foot long Thunderbolt 4 cable. It comes in a decently small size, just under eight inches for its length, three inches for its width, and just over an inch for its height. Build quality is actually really good. It's got a metal casing all around, but where your ports are, are these like plastic face plates. But me personally, I think the build quality is very good for the price that I paid for it. And yeah, I have no complaints here. I promise I'll get to the pricing in a little bit, but for now, let's talk about the ports and all the specs that this thing offers. On the front, we have a UHS-2 SD card reader, a USB-A port capable of 10 gigabits per second, combo speaker and microphone jack, the host USB-C Thunderbolt 4 port capable of 96 watts of charging, two LED indicators, one green for dock power and blue for showing a connected host, and finally, a power button. On the back, we get our DC barrel power in jack, HDMI 2.1 for 8K at 60 Hertz, two downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports, 2.5 gigabit networking, and finally, two additional USB-A ports capable of 10 gigabits per second. But now, the ultimate test. I want to set up this dock on my desk and basically have every port connected to something, whether it was a display, a portable SSD, an SD card, networking, all of it. I just wanted to see within my capabilities of testing, can I find any flaws with this dock? So after days of testing, I have found that there's only two issues with my dock. Now, when I did all my testing, I was using my 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. And that's what I use to do all of my testing and everything like that, because that's what's gonna be used at least in my setup. And probably I would say a good majority of you are gonna be using a MacBook setup with this dock. Now, the first issue I had is that this thing does get kind of warm, but with it getting warm, it did not really have any issues with the dock. Everything was still working, no glitches, issues, none of that. Now, the second thing, which may be a little minor for some of you, but kind of is important to me, I don't get the full two and a half gigabit speeds that this thing advertises it says it does. Now, when I was doing my testing for this, I don't really, at my home infrastructure here, I don't have 2.5, I have gigabit. But at my work, I've built a 10 gigabit infrastructure and luckily I was able to not have any bottlenecks with 2.5. So when I was able to plug in my 2.5 gigabit networking to our 10 gigabit networking and run a speed test, I was only able to get around 230-ish megabytes a second. I mean, heck, you're seeing it on the screen right now. And technically you're supposed to get upwards of like 320. Now, I don't think there should have been any bottleneck with the infrastructure that I was connected to. I really think this is a driver issue between the dock and my MacBook Pro. But besides those two issues, I couldn't find anything else and it just worked. I had no issues with my displays, no issues when connecting to peripherals or anything like that. But now here's the thing that you've probably been waiting on for me to say since the beginning of this video if you're familiar with Amazon Basics. Now, we all know what they do. Amazon just finds a product that is being mass produced by a company. They give it the fancy paperwork and licensing so that way they could slap their Amazon Basics logo on top of it and then ship it out to us acting like it is their product. Now, granted, that's a lot of what manufacturers do, but I wanted to see what doc Amazon chose to make their carbon copy. Originally, when I was doing my research, I thought it was the Sonnet Echo 11 as like literally everything about it was pretty close, but it was slightly off. But that's until I plugged it into my friend's MacBook Pro and it said it was from Goodway Technology. So after doing a little more research, I figured out the exact model that they cloned, or at least kind of. So the company that Amazon decided to go with is Goodway Technologies DBD 1330 dock. And when you look at it from the outside, 
they look exactly ex the same except for literally one thing. The Goodway Tech one actually has an additional USB-A port on the back. So there's three instead of two. Other than that, there I could not find any other difference with the stock. And I'm pretty convinced that this is the company that Amazon's choosing to you know redistribute this product. Now, really, Amazon's not the only one doing this. In fact, there are multiple companies that literally create almost the same exact dock. So when Amazon sells it to us, what is the price that they make us pay? Well, at the time of this recording, Amazon Basics Thunderball 4 dock is only $139. I couldn't find anything cheaper anywhere else. In fact, I even tried to find the pricing of the dock that Amazon, you know, got the licensing from and I could not find a price. Literally the only thing I can maybe find was the Sauna Echo 11 like I mentioned earlier and that thing retails for 200. But I think that if Amazon can keep this 139 to maybe at max 150 pricing, they'll be in a really good sweet spot for Thunderball 4 docks. But now the question you want me to answer, this dock that I bought, is it going in my setup? Yes. Yes, it is. I honestly probably won't be able to find any other value of Thunderball 4 dock that is cheaper and still as good quality than this. And it does, from all my testing, exactly what I need it to do. I'll have a link, obviously, in the video description for you to look at and check it out. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this and uh, hopefully you get something out of it too. So God bless.